So I was at the store. Yeah. And uh, me and my wife were walking down the uh, the aisle, and uh, I saw this Indian guy walking towards us, sick man, had a turban and everything, and um, that's how I knew he was sick. Uh, <laughs> but I saw him catch my eyes, and his eyes lit up, hmm. and I was like, oh, hmm. looks like he knows me from OSR. No, he stopped me and said, can I take a picture of your shirt? This one, <laughs> nice. He was just not used to a white boy wearing, wearing a an SRK posture. shirt, but he didn't know who you were from Adam. <laughs> no, and he was like, "Do you guys, do you guys like Indian films?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah, we've seen a few." <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Portman. Oh, I'm Rick. Nicole, so Instagram and Twitter. Ah, will you know the rig and roll. Content. Blow it out your wizwam. Patreon. Follow your Twitter account and uh, subscribe if you haven't hit the like button, please. Yeah. So I, it's a. Uh, I could see it would be a little jarring if you don't know who I am from Adam and you just see a white boy wearing yeah, a Shah Rukh Khan shirt. It, it doesn't happen a lot. No, it's kind of like the looks I get when people see my tattoo. Yeah. And they're like. You're not Indian. What is that? Up in the time, explain, my guy? Explain that one. Today we're doing white a movie boy. review. <laughs> Boys and chickens. Uh, we got a review of the 2012 film Shahid. Uh, and it would. Well, yeah. it, is that the correct pronunciation? I believe or, or it yeah. should have Shahid. been Shahid. No. Shahid. No, I think it's like it should Shahid. be Shahid. It's Shahid, like Shahid Kapoor. Okay, okay, okay. Just over Shahid. The account of a human rights lawyer, um, Shahid Azmi. An ordinary citizen uh, with extraordinary commitment to justice. Thank you, Logline, for not uh, giving too much away. Hansel Mehta, <laughs> is whom obviously we've seen quite a bit of his work yeah. um, in Omerta, um, Al 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 Algira, um, um, and, and a few, and uh, something else. I forget what it was. He's also the director of Scam, which we haven't seen yet. Obviously, we know about him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> starring uh, uh, Raj Kumar Rao. As uh -huh. you know. And interesting, they didn't put. Uh, in the, it's a, I mean, it's not a big deal. It says biography in there anyway, but they didn't say a true story, the yeah. account of a real yeah. lawyer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've heard about this film uh, a lot, a lot, a lot uh, in uh, one of not only Hansel's uh, better films, but also Raj Kumar's as well. Um, and I do want to say, if you do end up watching this film, there's a couple ways you can do it. But the ones that I started out on, I rented it, it was on. Apple or Amazon, oh yeah, uh, yeah, or, yeah or YouTube I can't remember you had this issue and told but, me but um, when you rent it apparently the version and I confirmed it with Hansel um, the version that they put out is a censored version so anytime somebody cusses uh, audio goes completely blank wow. and they don't even translate anything wow. why makes no sense to me <laughs> but I I was ten minutes in and they'd done it like three or four times and I'm like ah. Uh, this needs to stop. <laughs> and so I went on the, the, I forget what the site's called, but we've used it a couple times for, for like yeah. if we can't find it anywhere else, I, I, I go to the site and they had it without that. So that is good. That but, is good. But anyways. That is good. It'd be 100 Spence World Review. came out in 2012. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Yeah. Um, well, I'm in. Right off the bat, I'll tell you, I, I not a surprise. Um, the choices that Raj Kumar Rao makes are consistently in alignment with not just the kinds of movies that I know you and I like to watch, but mm -hmm. the kinds of movies we would like to work in. Oh, yeah, 100%. The kinds of stories, the kind of people. Many times, and this is going to be a very high compliment if you know who this person is, but I'm about to refer to, but this movie felt a lot like an, an Asghar Farhadi film. If you don't know who he is, oh. he's the Iranian director who who directed A Separation is and he the A one Hero. That, is he the one that stole the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah <laughs> he's the bunch stole of the... controversy yeah, right now. <laughs> big controversy, but he also has a lot of controversy simply because of yeah, some of the things he does. He makes, and, yeah, for yeah. sure. But... One of the, one of the the you one of the things you notice about his directing is everything feels so real. You for it's just you are astonished at how good everybody is, which is again not a surprise that Mukesh Chabra cast this um, because <laughs> there's not a there's not a project in Hindi cinema that he doesn't cast. I'm pretty sure. Well, at, at least I can't think of one that that was cast by him that didn't have superlative acting throughout. Because yeah. uh, I've just. 
I, I will talk about story. We'll talk about everything else. But on the whole, I yeah. thought this was a great movie. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic film. A very on par with uh, Hansel's other film, on gear. Um, I always forget. Aligar. Yeah. Aligar. Very similar in terms of um, the style of film and how he chose to film, uh, the sh shoot it, but mm -hmm. it's also an important film, important subject matter, yeah. a hard hitting subject matter yeah. with great performance. <laughs> I, I'm guessing this is the minimum third time he's worked with Raj Kumar. At least. Because he did Omerta, mm -hmm. um, Aligar, and this one, minimum. They work well together. Uh, so are they like the uh, Leo and Martin Scorsese? I know, right? Uh, yeah. Um, they work together a lot. But anyways, yeah, we'll get into it. Once again, it's going to be 100 Spins Horror Review. So if you haven't watched it, please go, watch, uh, go yeah. watch it. Come back. I think it's less than two hours, I think. It is. Yeah, it is. Like 157, I think. Yeah, so uh, for an Indian film, a really short film, uh, but a really powerful uh, uh, and very well done film. And interestingly... <laughs> It's very interesting, the timing of this movie, the serendipitous nature of it arriving at a time of my life right now, mm. not equating myself in any way with this 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 man who is at the pinnacle of representing people who are at the heart of things like the, you know, 2611. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I actually recently got a, a, a death threat and was told that I should never review another Indian film. Well, so, we are. Here I am reviewing another Indian film. R.I.P. Rick. There you it go. Was nice knowing. Yeah, you. nice knowing you too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shout out to Salman Khan fans. Um, I I found there's what else can we say about Raj Kumar? Uh, he's he's just he's as good an actor as you're gonna find on planet Earth right now. Bottom line. Yeah, and he's so versatile. Yep. And he chooses. I mean, from the his it seems like the very beginning. From obviously, I don't know what his first first was, but like. Kaipo Che, brilliant performance. This brilliant performance. And it, and then the lady you get the more different, because obviously he gets to be more choosy, obviously, with his yeah. roles. Obviously, the, the more popular, more well-established you get, you get like stuff like Ludo that's so unique and interesting. Obviously, gangs towards the beginning of his career. Yeah. And then uh, But I Do that we just... Uh, and the, the amount of different things that he chooses to do, but he always does it from such a genuine place. He reminds me... Uh, this quality of him reminds me of a quality of another actor, an American actor. Not because he reminds me of the actor, but there's a quality about Raj Kumar that comes through in all of his roles. And I think it's part of his selection process that reminds me of what I see in the selections that Tom Hanks makes. And that there's a particular piece of mm. the actor's personality that I think comes through in every single one. I'll give you an example. One of the things that works great for Raj Kumar is the the roles that he plays. Mm -hmm. He's consistently in a position of a guy who, at his core, is a is a good guy most of the time. At his core, is a good guy and is completely misunderstood and treated wrongfully. Yeah, he's he's kind of the what do you want to call him the underdog or the guy who's coming at something with a sense of naivete and doesn't understand why he's being mistreated. Mm -hmm. And there's an innocence about him that, yeah. that Hanks also has always carried in all of his roles. That is an endearing quality to him that he brings to every single role. Yeah. He does have that innocence. Yeah. There's, there's just, it, it adds so much to every role. Um, which is why I always call him young Pankaj. Because yeah. Because Pankaj yeah, great has comparison. the same thing. It's a great comparison. But he also, when he turns it on, can flip a switch. he can be like the the, the yeah. most intimidating person I've ever seen in my life. Uh. <laughs> and to show you just how good the writing and the acting and directing are, I don't know about you, it's but also produced by our I, host on your cushion, by the way. I got oh, that's, uh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, um, I I got really irritated, not with the filmmaking and not with the acting, with the actual courtroom stuff, oh, right? I was so invested yeah. and engaged and was so irritated at what was being done to him by either the judge or other attorneys oh. that I found myself was like like this. That's how good this was. Yeah, and we've we've really run into that before with um with courtroom dramas because obviously laws what's allowed in a courtroom in America and what's obviously allowed in here. Yeah, it's very it's different. So, it's, it's very jarring. So it's, it's like, because some that added another level. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, it's like, because some stuff that they do is like, that would never be <laughs> never admissible be in court yeah. ever. Either, <laughs> either the way it was presented or just what they were doing would yeah. never be permitted in a courtroom. Yeah, exactly. Like, this guy says this thing. Why are we believing why are, it? <laughs> why are we talking about that? <laughs> and why are you talking over each other in my courtroom? Obviously, I get it. That yeah, it's, it's different. Different cultural, and, and I accept it. It's just that that adds to like the. 
the anger of us when we watch this because obviously the the wrongs like because it's a universal story. Yeah, it's, it's not just a um, an Indian thing where a uh, somebody gets accused of something just because they're there and they're a, a certain religion or a certain yes, race. Yes. Obviously, America has dealt with that for. It's All existence. the time. Uh, <laughs> Every day still going um, on. A, you know, a black person's just there on the street and he gets a, a accused of something he did not do because he's a black man. Yep. So it's it's a universal thing that everybody can kind of relate white, to. rich people uh, get away with who yes, knows what. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and so the, the, that that's just a human kind of thing. Because well, sometimes in, uh, in certain films uh, in India, people are like, I don't know if you get it, it's cultural. Uh, we not ran into that a lot. No. Very rarely. It's because if usually you tell a human story, it doesn't matter the culture. I can watch yeah. a Korean film. It's a different culture. I understand it because it's a human story. I'm a human. We can all relate to that. And it's one of my least favorite um, rebuttals. To rebuttals it. and a negation for our opinion about something because too often yeah, that, I will hear, well, you just don't get it because you're not from here. And that is is most of the time incorrect. Incorrect because yeah. there's uh, I've watched a lot of movies, not nearly as many as Indian, but I've watched a lot of movies from other countries. Yeah, and I it's just it's not a it's not a fair critique. But yeah, I, I do agree. The uh, the courtrooms. I was I was heavily invested. In, yeah. Obviously, because so one Hansel's directing, and we'll Such get to that in just direct. a second. Uh, his directing in this is so good, just like it was in Algira as well. Um, that's why I think they're very similar, and just in terms of how powerful they are and, and again they also had great performances from their leads yep. of Raj Kumar and uh I didn't mention her before obviously Raj Kumar was amazing but the uh the his, his wife his love interest well, everybody. Room was uh yeah. but I wanted to give her a shout out what was her name um uh, um um Ma this right yes that was yeah it. that's her uh forgive me if I mispronounce your name Prableen Sandhu I think that's correct I thought she did a phenomenal job I did I thought she was as Everybody was in this was fantastic. Like the scene, uh, once again, spoilers, when she was trying to leave. Yes. And then they were having a big argument. It was a long scene. Yeah. Um, they, but it, it was really well crafted because you saw the whole progression of like him. So, you know, you're, you're not leaving, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, she's leaving. And he tries to stop her from yeah. actually leaving. But yeah. obviously she was, you know, in it the whole time yes. and, and in his face and yes. uh, obviously looking out for herself and yes. her kid. And, yes. And you understood that, where she was coming from. That scene in particular felt like Osgar Farhadi. If you've seen mm -hmm. any of his films, everything from the saucer that was, they went in the kitchen, she set a saucer down or she moved a saucer and it started to rotate and it kept going and it kept going and it kept going and then it just stopped and they just let it go mm -hmm. because that was happening. That's what's happening in the room. Yeah. And I, I really love and feel like that's exactly the, and that's us, that's just our bread and butter, man. That's the kind of actors mm -hmm. we love. That's the kind of acting we love to do. It's the kind of directing we love where you just let things go, let life happen in a very, uh, live theater way mm -hmm. and just capture the magic that can happen in any moment like that. And Raj Kumar was really great, but I don't know if he did it for the sound. He probably did. When you're that good of an actor, you can blend the technicality you need to do, like hitting your mark with also motivating yourself as to why I went there. Yeah. So that moment, I remember he, he held for a moment and paused to say something and the saucer stopped and then he said it. And I thought, you dirty dog. <laughs> that wasn't just a pause. That was waiting for the sound to clear. You're so good. <laughs> Yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, one of the most talented actors, and um, uh, he he really people. rarely has a false moment. I, I I can't even think of a time I've seen him have a false moment ever. I know we've seen he we've probably seen as much of him as we probably have Amir Khan because I think Amir Khan's what at twelve or thirteen films. Probably, yeah. I'd, I'd imagine Raj Kumar's around that. I haven't counted it out, but we've seen a lot because he's supporting in a lot. He's yeah, smaller parts. In yeah, a lot. Um, and so. I, I can't. I, honestly, I can't ever remember a time. There may be uh, there may be different actors, but there's no one better. Maybe maybe his accent in A White Tiger. No, <laughs> maybe, that, maybe. But it wasn't really his performance. No, no, no. Benedict Cumberbatch struggles with accents. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. So, um, and then everyone, everybody else. I thought, I thought the 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 uh, we saw several faces that we know really well. His his attorney boss that he left. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other attorney that he's fighting with for the very first time, yeah. the defense attorney, his the, the actress who played his mom, mm -hmm. uh, the the family that he was in, and then the nice, beautiful little appearance by K.K. Menon uh, was just 
That's, uh, that's fantastic. That's actually what set me off uh, when I, I turned it off. Uh, the first time I got about 10 minutes in, KK Menon <laughs> walked in and they cut out his line. Oh my goodness. And I was like, I am not, okay, not I am not doing this right now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will not cut out KK Menon's lines exactly. for me. I will punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was scrambled and tried to find an actual version that wasn't going to cut it off. But obviously KK Menon did a phenomenal job because he's he one of the best does. actors out there. He is. Um, but it was a uh, it was a wonderful, nice surprise. Even though I, I was hoping he was going to come back in towards the back half of the film. Just yeah. I like seeing I did too. I was hoping for a little bit more of him, but, but it was kind of cool. Uh, he was kind of like that. Well, he wasn't as big a role, but it reminded me a little bit of, of, of Atul Kukarni and it, Hiram. It was a well-crafted story. Very because well obviously, put together. Um, it's, once again, it's under two hours. Mm-hmm. And they didn't over dramatize this. Uh, Not at all. Uh, Hansel didn't over dramatize any of the events. Not at all. He kinda, and he didn't judge his character. And then kind of just told his story. Yep. Um, which is which is wonderful. And obviously, I'm sure this didn't do well uh, <laughs> because of the subject matter and its style of film. Um, I think, which is a shame. Yeah. And, well, not not in terms of it won. I think the national award. I'm not saying that in terms of like box office. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. I know it. I know it got acclaim because it should, uh, because it's a really well crafted film. But um, the way he did it, he didn't judge this character any Mm-mm. character and he let it breathe and he let it like the courtroom scenes mm. uh, courtroom dramas they're not always the most entertaining films because obviously court is pretty boring, boring. a lot of times yep but the scene where she was accusing him of oh, being a terrorist and, and yeah. being a shouting match oh man and they just kind of let them that, go and work. i got angry with yeah. him yeah like what is she doing right now yeah. <laughs> To this good man, yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> but then, obviously, like he didn't judge uh, any of the characters. Like when the the like when he met, uh, Raj Kumar made uh, her wear the burqa. Mm-hmm. You're like, really? You didn't they think to talk to her about this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you didn't. But like he 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 kind of just let the character be, and he, he's not obviously like in a lot of Indian cinema the hero. Mm-hmm. He's just this real person but the that he was real dynamic uh d- displaying on film and obviously i don't know this story uh at all right we can't measure the accuracy on yeah. the events and the person at all but i'm uh, i have no reason to believe it's not but obviously if there is stuff you can obviously let us know um but i thought hansel did a phenomenal job and he also had these nice surprises because obviously it would be this nice thing and then something would just come out of the blue like yeah. when he got attacked and that, that, I don't know if it was charcoal or what was it that was... Or a mix of that and feces or I yeah, don't know. smeared on his face and one is so horrible, but obviously we've heard many stories of stuff like that happening. Oh, yeah. To, you know, people of a different political opinion. Of a different and worse, whatever. acid in the face of women. Yeah. Or on. just because, you know, you're, you're part of a film and... <laughs> the stuff that you know people did to um, um, uh, Sanjay Lila Ben Sali in yeah. their film. Yeah. So it, it was like stuff that was like believable because I'm sure it actually happened. But it was I thought it was done well, like in terms of because sometimes, especially with stuff like this that I'm sure didn't have a, a crazy big budget. Right. It can look like uh, that didn't look like that actually happened. Yeah. This is a uh, the the whole flow of the film is pretty much spot on across the board with every single thing because a, a big part in this is. The way that Hansel worked with the uh, editing of Apurva Asrani, and that is critical in the flow and the pace, even the drama that you feel, the the seamlessness of the courtroom stuff where you're just fully engaged and it makes you feel like you're watching a play mm-hmm. is is so spec- – I was – I had dinner – and John and I had dinner about a week ago with a friend of mine who who has directed uh, for many, many years. He, his claim to fame in direction is he spent like 25 years directing a soap opera here. And he was talking to me about a project he was just recently working on and how he was a producer on it. And one of the things that was a, pr- a problem was – Watching a scene that was shot one day that was beautiful in the room. People were in tears watching it in the room. But when he saw the final edit, it was missed. Completely missed. And he talked to the director about it, who's a brand new director. And the director made a selection on shot choice because an actress in the scene didn't get enough screen time. I groaned. My friend groaned. And he was allowed, because he's a producer, to go in himself and re-edit the scene and recapture what was going on in the room. 
All that to say, it takes great directing and great editing to capture the great performances because they can be lost if they're not captured right. And I felt like every moment of this that went well, and Raj Kumar could attest to that. And it is probably why he would like to work with him, and it's why DiCaprio works with the Scorsese and why people work with Quentin Tarantino all the time. It's because they know he's not going to leave my best work on the floor. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna translate and probably be even better on screen than we did in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, actors are so important in film, but they're also at the mercy of the director, the cameraman, the editor. <laughs> they're at Incredibly. the mercy of almost everyone. You, at the mercy of the freaking guy holding the microphone on the boom. If it comes into screen and they miss that, your scene's upstaged by the fact that the boom operator didn't get the mic out. Yeah, obviously, though, once again. Film is a collaborative, collaborative art form, <laughs> and that's why it's so difficult to make such a great film. But I, this, I, because I, I was, I was like, what's one, what's my favorite one? It'd probably be between this and Algira. As uh, far as as far as Hansel? Hansel's films, okay. I was also going to ask you. We've seen quite a few courtroom drama ones. Where does this stand for you in the Which courtroom other drama world? Court. Well, there's Court, and obviously the very first one we ever saw was Pink. Pink. I consider Badla. Bad luck. To be a courtroom that one, could even though be a courtroom it, drama, for it, it's sure. because of the dialogue between between Big B and Topsy is very courtroom drama y. Well, technically, there's some court in that uh, new Tamil film we just watched, uh, The Last Farmer. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know. That's true. But it's not It's not a technically I mean, a courtroom, a courtroom one. drama. I don't know. They've all been really good, actually. They have been. They've I don't think we've really seen one that's been bad. Dramas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What so, would work? I mean, we I had know. some courtroom stuff take place. You know, I would love a scripted courtroom, you know, like Law and Order we have here. Uh, you could do that with some kind of a series that would mm. take place where you have good scripted courtroom drama. I think uh, Rajkumar is doing a series next. Oh, good. Uh, an OTT series. Great. Uh, which I don't think he's done. Gun, is it? Yeah. Guns and, because uh, I've seen him post about it. It's with... Uh, Guns and Gulabs? DK, Raj and DK. The ah. Family Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do Family Man. Great. Uh, so are That's they, right. Are, are they just, I remember hearing about that. Are they just taking all the stars, the, the Family Man director, and, and being like, because they're doing one with Shahid, too. <laughs> they're just... That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. But he, he really is uh, just... It's just such a really good movie. And it it qualifies for me. Like, I, I use the word elevative a lot. That's a you, word I've used for a lot of years to describe. It came elevative from... Elevative artistry. Yeah, it came from the days of articulating the fine art conservatory and what is what are the fine arts and what's that differentiated from fine artistry and artistic expression. And for me, it's, it's pretty simple criteria for something to hit the level where I consider it to be elevative artistry. We're like, everybody should watch this because this is, this is what it's all about. And I consider this film to be along those lines. Oh, yeah. The first one is, is it, is it entertaining and or engaging? I was engaged the whole time. It yeah. doesn't always have to be engaging. You can just have a rip roaring good time, right? Yeah. So is it entertaining and engaging? Is it educational? Did you learn something new? Is it enlightening? Does it actually take a deeper level for you and share something about the human experience? So you got those three E's. And then last of all, is it important? And I feel like yeah, this is clearly an important story. And it talks obviously about many things, including justice in the legal system is not sadly about right and wrong. It's about who wins. And one of my favorite things that I'm hoping is truthful to the character that Raj Kumar plays is that the reason Shahid did what he did and why he went and started his own law firm was because what mattered to him was truth yeah. and protecting people who had been wronged because there is a right and there is a wrong. And sadly, in the legal world yeah. and law enforcement world, that's not the yeah. top criteria for it was, many. It was so frustrating how they, you know, he, that man was in jail for years and they had no evidence unbelievable no bail like and <sighs> no evidence and he was like you can't just keep somebody because you think he's the one without any evidence yeah like you like, can't like just because <laughs> the one you can't just put an innocent man in jail just so like you th we've got time to build a case here in the united <sighs> states yeah, can't do that. you you if the person if you don't have enough surrounding evidence that makes it very clear this could be the person and they don't pose a flight risk, there's no way you could keep somebody contained like that. You would have so many organizations like the ACLU, mm -hmm. 
demanding and winning in higher courts to say that judge is corrupt. They cannot do that. Yeah. Not trust me, our legal system has corruption in it. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just saying that that was one of the shocking yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said at the end that you know he he was able to get some acquittals in a system that's notorious for taking a long time and people losing years of their life who never committed a crime. Yeah. yeah. And it was well, one last thing. It was super. I thought well done how he blended his personal life with his work life, Hansel, um, and and kind of how he juggled that as opposed to like not focusing yeah, sh on one, showing, showing Shahid. how they yeah, kind of I agree. Uh, affected each other. I agree. Because uh, obviously sometimes you can get loose focus of a certain aspect in a film, um, but I thought he did a good job of juggling his I, whole I, life. I agreed and did that the way good directors do, which is show, don't tell. Mm -hmm. We didn't, there was no exposition. The way you got that, he comes home for dinner. She's done eating. She's clearly irritated. And he says, sorry, sorry. That one scene was enough to let you know he's started to prioritize work over his family and mm -hmm. she's upset. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, a fantastic, fantastic film. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we finally got to Me it. Too. Uh, and I'm, Me too. Me too. For a while, it wasn't even available for rent. And so uh, I'm glad that we actually yeah, it's enjoyed every now. second of it. Hopefully they uh, get rid of the uh, edited oh. version. Really? That's stupid. It's so sad because it's it's such an enjoyable film. There should be no hindrances to seeing good good cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there should be no censor board. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but uh, let us know what you thought about the film. Let, should be, uh, should, uh, let us know what the next Raj Kumar film and the next Hansel film, well, or series, I guess. I know the next series of his is Scam. We're meaning to get to that for a long, long, long time. Long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, it's very exciting to actually because... I, we know him as a director, and so I know the yeah, quality I know what you're of gonna that get. Yep. is going to be. And it's yep. no surprise that everybody loved it so much because of its Hansel. But anyways, let us know what his next film should be down below.